Hey guys, Jay Arthur here, and we're, I'm back in GTA 5, and this is really just going to me, me be talking about the, really the new Fooligan jobs, all five of them, basically going to rank them from worst to best, etc, but I'm also going to be doing a bit of an overview on just really what they do, etc. So, first off, how to unlock them. To unlock them, you need to do the Fooligan job. Now, in order to do that, you need to do all of the DAX missions, you can see here, I've already done them, but basically, they're going to show up here, which is um, on the map, as soon as you get it. They're going to be, with the exception of the first one, which is going to show up around here, in, um, in what's it, in Sandy Shores. But after you've done that, you end up doing the ones in here. The first one unlocks something called the Freak Shop, which is where I'm at, which is this building here. Which is the free, which is kind of a free hangout, you can see here. Oh, for fuck's sake, shut up. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, you basically go through the missions, and then at the sixth mission, you get this truck, you can see here. Now, the after the sixth mission, you, you basically, you have to do this mission, then you've got to do a setup mission, which is piss easy, it just involves you using a forklift to load stuff on. But yeah, basically, you end up loading them on to this, you basically load stuff onto a truck, then that's used to make the business here. Now I'm not going to disclose what the business is. If you know, you know. If you don't know, let's just say I can't say it for YouTube purposes. But basically, yeah, it's a illegal substance. Let's just say that that makes you see things. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see it on the wall as well. You can probably guess which what it is. But basically. That's the main thing, and more or less, what do these jobs do? So you get them after beating the all the things. You have to go to your co contacts, and you got to phone up Dax here. And um, basically, you call him up, and then you do something called request work. I'm just gonna phone him. It, oh yeah, it won't work because I'm in here. I'm a fucking idiot. But basically, you phone him up, and yeah, it's that guy there, the guy with the 67 shirt or, or 69 shirt. Is it 69 shirt? Yeah, it is. Of course, it is. But basically, you phone up that guy. With the red shirt, he um, he'll basically tell you how to do five missions. He'll, he'll do it to one of five missions, and yeah, for the rewards for these missions, they're pretty much all unanimous. They give you fifty thousand, but there's a reason for this. So they'll give you fifty thousand. There's one mission that gives you twenty five if certain if you do certain criteria. aka okay, you're fucking up. But I'll tell you, I'll talk about that those mission that mission when we get to it. When you unlock the mission. Completing 10 of these missions gives you access to this equipment, this upgrade here. Now, this is an important upgrade because after you've done this upgrade, it basically makes it so that the, the business works quicker so and it produces more. So basically, think of it like a upgrade, kind of like the um, the upgrade to the, uh, to the MC businesses, but you have to do 10 missions. Now... Each mission takes about 10-15 minutes, depending on the mission. Some take a little bit shorter or a little bit shorter than others. But most take about 10 minutes, 15, maybe if you're unlucky, depends on the mission. But yeah. And there's five missions. But yeah, also there's another thing which is just for this week. Well, it's been going on since around Chris since the thing released. But when you get basically the more you do these these jobs, these missions. The better these rewards are going to become. But basically, if you do a one job, you're going to get some unique bonus cosmetics until the 11th. But yeah. For the missions, there's five of them, like I said. And yeah, I'm going to talk about them from all up, from worst to best. The worst mission, without question, has to be the mission... Uh, what's it? Oh, shut up. Oh, JT. But basically, it's the... Um, <clears throat> Mission, uh, what's it called? Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the Merryweather mission. I'll, I've, I'm going to think of it. It's going to come back to me in a minute. But basically, this mission sucks, okay? It is it is the worst mission <laughs> out of the five. And that is because it it's just the most unnecessarily long and difficult. Now, look, I don't mind difficult difficult missions in GTA, but the problem with the difficult this difficult mission is how it's difficult, air quotes. Um, I've, oh no, write-off, that's what it's called, it's called write-off. That's what 
I just had to think of it. But basically, you go around the map. You have so basically five Mayweather convoys spawn around the map. Basically, it's just five Mayweather vehicles. They're called convoys, but in reality, they're just vehicles. You do you do these five. It's basically just you do these five missions. You you basically you had to take out three of these missions out of the out of the five, and then. A final thing gets revealed, which is the um, this whole area for the um, basically it's kind of like a um, <clears throat> it's a Mary River base. So when the Mary River base shows up, you know you have to go to it, and essentially, yeah, it's yeah the Mary River base. After the Mary River base, yeah, you basically have to destroy stuff there. It kind of a bit shit unfortunately because there's like so many mirror river guys but the worst thing about it is the air system basically there's an anti-air system and it will destroy anything that flies no exception i have been on the fucking mark 2 rammed to the ground and this thing has shot me has fired at me and it will it basically it essentially you get orbed essentially but yeah, so the best thing to do is to pretty much jump off your bike, your orb. Otherwise, you're going to get orbed. It is honestly so stupid. And I generally don't like that pair. And then afterwards, after you destroy like three or four of the things, a bunch of reinforcements arrive. And it's so annoying. Because what ends up happening is... <laughs> That pretty much the the these guys they, they spawn in like there's a um a churn not a churnable, there's a um an insurgent with a machine gun, you've got a couple of Valkyries show up, you'll have a um and a few other um vehicles and they they just they're so annoying to fight. After you've done the, this you end up kit you know, you, you blow up the stuff. You then have to escape them, which if you're in the anything that isn't a um the the thing that you you know, if you've survived, if your vehicle has survived, then, yeah, sure, you can get away quickly. But they just keep following you. And the thing is, they'll spawn right in front of you as well. They'll spawn right in front of you, and it's really annoying. Yeah, honestly, just a terrible job. And out of all of the five, it's the one I routinely skip. So the way you skip the jobs as well, you can actually skip them. You, it, quick way, if you get a job you don't like, just... Leave the session and then the call down. Because the thing is with these jobs is after you beat them, there's a call down of like 40 minutes. So you have to be careful of that. The fourth mission for the... So the the second worst is actually something called Liquid Assets. Now Liquid Assets is actually a pretty fun mission. It's quite creative. But the problem with the mission is it's just too samey for the half. Half of it's too samey and the other half actually is kind of cool. So the first half of the mission is quite samey. It's basically you, um, well, you're playing, you basically, you go, go into a, um, you go to grab some chemicals, you drive over to a lab, um, which is growing some questionable green stuff. You kill the guys inside, and then you put your stuff that you've been making here, into the water supply. But then the sprinklers go off. And you drink some of it basically. Yeah. Take a guess what. And then you end up basically. Seeing a bunch of killer clowns. And aliens and stuff. It's honestly. The most stupid part of the mission. It is. You're so. As well as that. You're locked in first person the whole time. So you're going to be like this the whole time. So yeah. It's a bit of a fun. It's funny but. And it's fun for the first time. I will have to say, I would recommend doing all of these. Because most of these, with the exception of write-off, are fun. Especially the first time. But, yeah. Honestly, apart from write-off. Write-off you can probably is the one you probably should write-off. But I still recommend doing it. Just to say, hey, I've done it. But, yeah. Oh, shit. Back after that rude interruption. So, yeah. Ask the, um, the one with the old... Um, Tripping, yeah, it's not. It's it's okay. It's good for the first time, but once you after that, it kind of gets a little bit annoying. However, it's not frustrating, unlike 
written off, write off, whatever it's called, which pretty much is a write off. For number three, so for the middle of the pack, and pretty much, you know, just not the best, not the worst, I'm gonna have to go with Crop Dusting. Now, Crop Dusting is probably the most unique out of all of these, because it's pretty much the only one which doesn't, you know, it's the only one that isn't really, you know, big. You know, you, um, it's one of the ones, it's the one that you don't require, you, you know, it's hard to explain, but it's basically the one that, you know, isn't like anything else you've seen in the game. And that basically, all it does is you have to steal a crop duster, but then you, you but first you have to steal some herbicide first, steal a crop duster, and then fly over a prison, and then fly over a bunch of um, farms spraying herbicide, pesticide over it. It is actually generally quite fun, it's actually quite interesting, it's quite an interesting, um, it's quite an interesting one, and it's actually quite a bit of fun. The only real problem I have, you know, the only real problem I have with it is it can get a little bit long. It also, the problem as well, I think, with, with, is the final part, really. Because, unfortunately, it goes to this really creative mission, and then you just go, oh, by the way, there's a tanker, can you destroy it? Like, okay, great. Who cares about the tanker? But, yeah. It's generally quite a fun mission. I would generally recommend playing it what, at least once. You know, it's it's, a, it's fun. Now, I know people who generally don't like this mission. It's a mission you either love or hate. And I think it's okay. It's not the worst mission out there. But it's not. But, again, it's not the what, best. Coming in at number two is Heavy Metal. Now, Heavy Metal is generally one of the more, more fun ones, as well as one of the more unique ones. It's also, I'd say it's probably, it's not as easy as Crop Dusting, but it's not as hard as um, the Write-Off. But basically, with this one, you go to, you have to go to a location, shoot up a bunch of guys, steal a truck, and then you have to go to the final location. But the problem, I think, with the mission is the truck, okay? The truck literally will take damage because it has a health bar. And that health bar goes down if you tap a sign. Like, you tap anything, that thing goes down. It gets shot, that thing will go down. And you get chased by a couple guys in this mission. So, yeah. It, that's the only bad thing. But, honestly, it's actually just... It's probably the most straightforward of all of the, out of all of the missions... So, yeah, it's, and it's the one with the least, you know, the least. It's also probably the quickest as well, now I think of it. Like, it's generally not hard. You just fly to a location. It's usually under a bridge or something. Shoot up the place. Take a picture of the corpse of the corpse of the, of the leader of the group. Steal the truck again. And then, yeah, a lot of fun. It's, it, it's generally a quite good mission. It's one of my favourites, but... Yeah, it's 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 just not a bunch of unfair crap, unlike the others. And un honestly, number one, I think everyone who's done these jobs knows what's number one. But for you guys who don't know what's number one, it has to go to wo uh, working remotely. Now, working remotely, the pr the what makes working remotely so good is it pretty much it it's it's just fun. It's unique for the most part, and you get to kill the last MC more. So. You can't really hate it, but yeah, just for the um, just so I'll go over it why it's so good. The first part of the mission, you have to steal a post. You have to steal the post op that a a post op van from a um, from a depot. That's not too bad. You then have to trick it in an S custom to put a bomb on it. Okay, drive to the lost MC hideout. And then you have to sneak out again. You can go guns blazing, but. That will actually reduce your cut, but you actually lose the benefits of doing the mission. Now, if you don't know, if you do the mission, you actually will get the outfit you have to wear, because you have to go in the disguise. You'll get that outfit. You'll also get a unique out. You'll get some unique uh, things, a unique customization for the van that you use. So, if you ever go to an LF custom, you can use this livery. And you get the full price if you, if you do it stealthily. Whereas if you don't do it stealthily, you basically get fucked over and you have to go into a firefight. But it's actually not hard. It's a very easy mission and I enjoy it. It was a very It's a very enjoyable mission and you get to blow up the Lost MC more, so you can't hate it. But yeah, 
those are the five missions from worst to best. Honestly, I would recommend doing all of them. Even write off. As bad as it is, as much of a write off as it is, I'd recommend doing it at least once just to get the feel of the mission. Honestly, of course, those are my, you know, those are in my opinions. These are my dreaded opinions. There are missions, you know, I guarantee some people will hate the crop duster more than I hate write off. But yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, here's a, here's a cool thing. If you. Just from doing the first mission on this, um, on this, you get a Mark One, you get a Mark Two workshop bench. So, if you ever need Mark Two workshop benches, you know, because you're new at the game, just do that. Do the first those story missions. Other than that, it's actually quite good. I enjoy it, and it, you know, it's it's a, it's not the best DLC, but it's it, it's a fun way to kill a few hours, I guess. And the missions are fun, apart from right off, to be honest. So. I, I really don't like write off. But yeah. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Sorry about that interruption in the middle. And I'll see you guys in the next video.